Alright, what's up you guys? So today, I'm going to be showing you how to install the simple trainer for GTA 5. So, let's get it. So first, you're going to want to be on Google Chrome. Or whatever browser you use. And I'll leave these links down in the description so you guys can download it. And I'll show you how to download it. So the first one you're going to want to download is Script Hook 5. And you want to press this one. No download button up here or anything. Because those are not those are not the real download. You're going to want to press this one. And that will download there. Then you're going to want to download Script Hook 5.net. It will be right here. Then you're going to see under assets, you're going to want to press the very top one. 886 kilobytes or however much it'll be. Click on that. And then on GTA 5 mods, you're going to want to go on here. Click on that to download the most recent one. And then click on download. So now that you have those, what do you do? Well... I already have them put into a folder, but so I can show you guys, I won't put those into a folder. So you're going to want to open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 files and your downloads. So you're going to want to have those open, both of them. Yeah, as you guys can see, I've recorded this video already once today. But it didn't work, so... You're going to want to open Trainer 5. I have ReZip. I just got it for free off the Microsoft Store because I need something to open zip files. So then you're going to want to control click on trainerv.ini and trainerv.asi or whatever it'll say. Just don't, don't do changes, read me, or reference. And then you're going to want to press extract and then click on that. And they should be both right here. So highlight those. Drag, the, drag and drop them to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. So now we can close that out. Then script took 5net You're going to want to open that up. And everything besides license and readme, you're going to want to, you're going to want to take and drag and drop into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder as well. You could, then you could go back out of that. And then it, finally in script took 5 it, there will be three different files here. You're going to want to open the bin file. Control, click on script took 5, and D, and D and put 8. Do not do native trainer. Drag and drop them here. Now, we can close out of these, and I'll show you how to use it too. Alright, so then, we're going to want to open up GTA 5. And, the way you use it, is you press F3, and then on the number pad, you're going to, I don't know why they're recording. Oh, I know why they're recording. It's so laggy, guys. Let me switch the display capture. Alright. Then you're going to press F3 and on the number pad on your keyboard if you have one. You're going to want to use 8 to go up and 2 to go down. And then 5 to select. So say I want to spawn a, uh, I don't know. Let's say I want to spawn... Uh, the Hydra. You just click on that and it's like... So basically, you guys, that's how you do it. So if this video helped you from the like, it would very much help me out. And maybe even subscribe. I'm trying to get to 75 subscribers by the end of this year. And if we could hit that, that would really mean a lot to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day. Goodbye.